Vishla. The Vishla, Hungarian, is a dog breed originating in Hungary which belongs under the FCI Group 7, Pointer Group. The Hungarian or Magyar Vishla are sporting dogs and loyal companions. The Vishla's medium size is one of the breed's most appealing characteristics as a hunter of fowl and upland game and, through the centuries, the Vishla has held a rare position among sporting dogs, that of household companion and family dog. The Vishla is a natural hunter endowed with an excellent nose and an outstanding trainability. It was bred to work in fields, forests, or bodies of water. Although they are lively, gentle-mannered, demonstrably affectionate and sensitive, they are also fearless and possess a well-developed protective instinct. Description Appearance The Vishla is a medium-sized short-coated hunting dog of distinguished appearance and bearing. Robust, but rather lightly built, they are lean dogs, and have defined muscles. Various breeds are often mistaken for Vizslas, and Vizslas are often mistaken for other breeds. Redbone Coonhounds, Weimaraners and Rhodesian Ridgebacks are some of the most commonly confused breeds. The body structure of a Vishla is very similar in appearance to a Weimaraner and a Redbone Coonhound, though the Vishla is typically leaner with a more defined musculature. Weimaraners and Rhodesian Ridgebacks are larger than Vizslas. The nose of the Vishla will always have a reddish color that blends with the coat color. Black, brown, light pink, or another color nose is an indication of another breed. A Vishla's eye and nail color should also blend with the coat color. Color and Coats The standard coat is a solid gold and rust color in several shadings, but some breeding programs have resulted in a solid rust coat. The coat could also be described as a copper brown color, russet gold, and dark sandy gold. Solid, dark, mahogany red and pale yellow are considered faults and a disqualification. Small areas of white on the forechest, neck, or tail are permissible but not preferred. Some variations in the Vishla coat color along their back, saddle type marks, are typical. The American Kennel Club, AKC, breed standard for the Vishla states that the coat should be short, smooth, dense, and close lying, without a woolly undercoat. The Vishla is totally unsuited to being kept outside since, unlike most other breeds, it does not have an undercoat. They are self-cleaning dogs and infrequently need to be bathed, if ever, and have little noticeable dog smell detectable by humans. After several forays into lakes and streams they will develop an aroma that is a weaker version of the wet dog smell. A quick bath in this odor will vanish. Size The Vishla is a medium-sized dog, the average height and weight. Tail The American breed standard does call for the tail to be docked to two-thirds of its original length. Breed standards in countries where docking is banned, such as the United Kingdom, do not require this. The Vishla holds its tail horizontal to the ground and wags it vigorously while charging through rough scrub and undergrowth. The dock tail of the Vishla is significantly longer than that of other dogs with traditionally dock tails such as the Weimaraner, Doberman, Boxer, and Australian Shepherd. That since the tail is docked when the puppy is less than three days old. This longer dock can result in some variation in tail length among Vishla dogs from different breeding programs. Temperament Vizslas are very high energy, gentle-mannered, loyal, caring, and highly affectionate. They quickly form close bonds with their owners, children, and even strangers. Often, they are referred to as Velcro dogs because of their loyalty and affection. Vizslas will cry or whine when they feel neglected or are otherwise unhappy. Some will bark at strangers if they feel that they are invading the pack's space. They are very good guard dogs when trained to be so. They are natural hunters with an excellent ability to take training. Not only are they great pointers, but they are excellent retrievers as well. They will retrieve on land and in the water making the most of their natural instincts. However, they must be trained gently and without harsh commands or strong physical correction, as they have sensitive temperaments and can be easily damaged if trained too harshly. However the owner must show quiet authority in training, otherwise the dog is likely to take over the training session. Vizslas are excellent swimmers. Some may need a little motivation to get in the water but as they get used to it they will love it. Like all hunting dogs, Vizslas require a great deal of exercise to remain healthy and happy. The Vishla thrives on attention, exercise, and interaction. They are intelligent dogs and need a lot of mental stimulation when young. If left alone for long hours, they can be bored and destructive. With proper socialization and training, Vishlas are very gentle dogs that can be great around children. The Vishla wants to be close to its owner as much as possible. Health A Vishla Club of America survey puts the average lifespan of the Vishla at 9.15 years. 
The Vishle is considered to be a robust dog but some localized breeding programs using a small number of dogs have led to heritable illnesses in some offspring including. Responsible breeders do not select dogs for breeding if they have such inherent problems. Vishles can also suffer from hypothyroidism, dwarfism, persistent right aortic arch, tricuspid valve dysplasia, and progressive retinal atrophy. Major risks include epilepsy and lymphosarcoma. Vizslas can also be prone to skin and food allergies. Unlike many other dogs, Vizslas do not have an undercoat. Therefore, they are unsuited for living outdoors. History The first written reference to the Vizsla dog breed has been recorded in the illustrated Vienna Chronicle prepared on order of King Louis I of Hungary by the Carmelite friars in 1357. As companions of the early warlords and barons, Vishla blood was preserved pure for centuries by the landowning aristocracy who guarded them jealously and continued to develop the hunting ability of these yellow pointers. Records of letters and writings show the high esteem in which the Vishla was held. The Vishla has survived the Turkish occupation, 1526 to 1696, the Hungarian Revolution of 1848, World War I, World War II and the Hungarian People's Republic. However, Vizslas faced and survived several near extinctions in their history, including being overrun by English pointers and German short-haired pointers in the 1800s, Boggs, 2019, and again to near extinction after World War II. A careful search of Hungary and a poll of Hungarian sportsmen revealed only about a dozen Vizslas of the true type still alive in the country. From that minimum stock, the breed rose to prominence once again. The various strains of the Vishla have become somewhat distinctive as individuals bred stock that suited their hunting style. Outside Hungary, Vizslas are commonly bred in Romania, Austria, Slovakia, and Serbia. The Vizsla started arriving in the United States at the close of World War II. As interest in and devotion to the breed began to increase, owners formed the Vizsla Club of America in order to gain AKC recognition. As a result of registering foundation stock with the AKC, Vishla owners were able to obtain official recognition on November 25, 1960, as the Vishla became the 115th breed recognized by the American Kennel Club. The Vishla was used in development of other breeds, most notably the Weimaraner, wire haired Vishla, and German short haired pointer breeds. There is much conjecture about those same breeds, along with other pointer breeds, being used to re establish the Vishla breed at the end of the 19th century. Vishla in the UK Approximately 4,520 Vishla puppies are registered with the Kennel Club of Great Britain KC, each year, making the breed one of the top 50 most popular. The number is steadily rising year after year as more people recognize the breed. There are two breed clubs for the Vishla in Britain, the Hungarian Vishla Club, and the Hungarian Vishla Society. The winner of the Best in Show Award at Crufts 2010 was a Vishla named Hungar Gunvarid in mind. In popular culture, Hungar Gunvarid